Hello there guys, what is going on and welcome back to another episode of the AFC New at Career Mode here on FIFA 22. Today we are back in Premier League action taking on Brighton and Hove Albion in our second game as a Premier League football club. We then have a cup game against Southampton in which I'm going to be rotating the squad and trying out some players who's probably not going to get as much game time this season and giving them a chance to step up, shine and maybe even get themselves a few more minutes this year we then next episode will be taking on Everton at home and Manchester United at Old Trafford so a big big game coming up next episode but for today we do take on Brighton and a cup game against Southampton aside we did face last year of course um, Brighton though they're off to a uh, 13th place start we won our first game of course after going behind so let's go ahead and get into this second one away in Brighton we have indeed signed Ramos. Sal Ramos has come in. We said at the end of last episode, should we sign the Man City forward for the upcoming year? Around £20 million spent on the player. We offered him forty grand a week wages. He took it and he has signed. So our replacement for Josh King, who is retiring at the end of the season. Sado Berahino, the other backup. And uh, Bialek, who is currently out injured for the next few months meaning we do desperately need some striker in. This guy was already on the list. Why not get him in? He could be absolutely quality in the future. I think it's uh, Edison Cavani's regen name. But either way, this guy looks amazing, and uh, hopefully he'll be able to get some game time today, probably in the Southampton game. But this is the starting lineup for the first one against Brighton. Full white kit for us then. Brighton in their blue and white stripes underway here four seasons in of course so probably not going to be the same Brighton team to the one we're used to in fact here's Rafinha for them into Muefu and it's going to be given away early into Oxlade Chamberlain ref we're going to get sent him off there it's going to get booked at least early on a yellow card for Reina who is a very good player indeed signing for Brighton Giovanni Reina an attacking midfielder American good player to stop him from getting on the ball today Oxlade Chamberlain the likes of Gallagher and Stanley in there we should be fine Nicholas Hyde, a man who has been doing well recently, laying that one off towards Stanley. Didn't quite find a way through. Good start for us, though. Stanley. Could create a little bit of room, but Rafinha's done well in there. Williams. Is that Inaki Williams? If it's Inaki Williams and Jonathan David up front, we have got trouble. And Brighton have got a brilliant squad. Good tackle from Nolan Fleury, though. Can't keep possession as we try to break away, though. And big chance. Good save by Zhukonski. Gallagher given away in the middle of the park. Step up in time and pace here for Brighton. And they get their goal when they do step up the pace. Williams has drove it past Jakonski. And we go a goal behind as we did in the first game of the season. And Yankee Williams this one with their goal. They've got a very good squad, Brighton. I have to say the likes of Reina, Williams have been added to this team. Not very, very good indeed. Rafinha, it's a very good move from Brighton into Williams and then through to Mwepu and it's a good stop, Jakonski and wow, that should be 2-0, Jakonski denying Mwepu there, Hyde, King, Gallagher over the top towards Nicholas Hyde as he stayed on side, he has going to bring it down, Hyde, he buries it wide of the post, I thought for sure that was in. Bomb. Out to Marlang Sar. Fleury on the turn. Fleury beating his man well. Pace from Nolan Fleury. Now I'll be Stanley. Cut to Nicholas Hyde. Hyde can find Josh King who looks to turn his pace into something here. King. Play Chamberlain. I'll be Stanley. He's got a little bit of room. I'll be Stanley. Equalizes. 62 minutes in. And I'll be Stanley. He had such a good start to his campaign. Has now got a Premier League goal. Just 20 years of age, this man has come through and done brilliant stuff for us. And he finds a little bit of room again. Beats the goalkeeper with the finish and it is 1-1. Corner, Ophi Boo, fresh off the bench to take it in towards the head of Morlang Saar. Head of away, he's only going to go as far as Albie Stanley. If he can get there first, and he will get there first. And keep it in play, he can. Stanley, Bomb, Stanley, Gallagher. Now it's... Oakley Booth, Nicholas Hyde, King, Hyde is lovely football, Nicholas Hyde lifts it, good save, that should have been two, could have been the winner, it was excellent football. Williams, Jonathan David, 
final attacks of this game is going to happen now. There's two minutes added on. Coletta Carr is a centre-back. It's been thrown forward for Brighton as they look to win it. Lamptey in the channel. It's a good one. Weppel, has he got a ball into the box? Good block by Sam Goodwin. Ball's in the air. Still in possession, though. Two minutes have gone. It's Lamptey into Weppu. Square ball is Jonathan David. Can he find a bit of room? Can anybody? It won't. It's going to go all the way through. Emile Smith-Rowe cuts it across. Morlang Saw has put it behind for a corner. We are two minutes over the added time here. And Brighton will have a chance from this corner. Hinde is going to be replaced by Jasper. Just a waste some seconds here for them. For a sorry on them. Ball into the box is Gorge. Coletta Cost header goes over the bar. And it is a draw at the Amex. Crystal Palace have shown an interest in signing young Albie Stanley for £42 million. We've had offers for Stanley before in this window too. So I saw that came in earlier for him. I mean, if they offered £50 million or a big club, maybe. But I don't want to sell Albie, especially this year. It's our first year in the Prem. I don't feel like he's going to be going anywhere this season. If we didn't get promoted, I probably would have had to sell Albie because he's getting to the point now where he has to be in the Premier League or at that level. So if we didn't get promoted last year, he probably would be moving on. Probably to Palace right now, but I don't think we're going to sell him this year. I'm going to reject these offers. A couple of offers as well for Jakonski and goal, uh, Porto and Brentford looking at him. And Sessegnon um, had an offer from Union Berlin that we've turned down to. Here are the two lineups for this cup game against Southampton. Then, like I said, we played them last season a couple of times and we're going to rotate this one. It's going to be a first ever start for Stephenson in goal, the young... Um, is he Swedish or I can't remember where he's from, but the young goalkeeper anyway from the Youth Academy, um, Stephenson is going to be starting. Doyle, Uchida and Gale will be a full left-footed back line. Uh, Jasper on the left-hand side. Mason Lord after his loan from last season. He's going to come in 70 rated now, looking very good from the Youth Academy as well. Hunt and Babic will play in the middle. Babic, another free agent who we signed this season from Croatia. Pickering out the Youth Academy on the right-hand side. Berahino will start up front with brand new £20 million pound signing. Sol Ramos. New man Sol is going to get his kicked off too. He's six foot, not the short player. He is still very quick and good in front of goal. Mason Lord, who had a very good season last year out on loan, progressed really well. Hopefully he can do bits for us as a CDM. That's a harsh tackle on him early on. Babbage, the new signing as well. Good to see how he plays today. Um, that's a heavy touch from Babbage though to start off with. But this is just a game I'm not in really too bothered about winning this competition it's the Carabao Cup of course just wanted to get some some impressions of some guys who aren't going to be playing too regularly this season Stephenson's first involvement as a goalkeeper he's going to be tipping it round the post a yellow card early for round goss here on them Holly Hunt a man who has been a substitute for us on many occasions very good dribbler of the ball Holly that's absolutely brilliant ball two and it was almost for Babic Mason Lord to Holly Hunt, Berahino, Ramos, Babic, Lord, round the corner towards Ramos. He is left-footed, Ramos, and he hits it straight to the goalkeeper. Tackle on him now, Alvarado can pick it up. And Hunt will try and get back in there on Alvarado. And it's a low-driven ball all the way through to Stuart Armstrong and cuts across, and it's 1-0 while Garcia will tap home past Stephenson. Four ball from Southampton. First time we've really seen them do anything today. And it's Ralph Osir who tucks it into the back of the net. We have gone behind now in all three games so far this season. It's not a good trend. I mean, we have managed to come back on both occasions and not lose the game, but I don't want to keep going behind, especially with Manchester United coming up as well. That's a good little block from Barahino to allow Ramos through right footed scores. Sal Ramos nets his first goal for the club. And it is the equaliser after just 41 minutes. He gets through and on his right hand side will take the chance. Berahino here just runs the block and allows Ramos to get out round him. Keep the defenders away from him. Allowing him to get the finish in with his weaker right foot. Back into Ramsey. Now into Armstrong again. Watts in the middle for Southampton. Back to Armstrong once more down the right-hand side. Can he create something? A lot of room here. We're struggling to get back in on him. Ball is deep and Stephenson has to demand his box and does so. Roll out from Stephenson to Archie Pickering. Learn them from Jukonski. 
Lovely slow rollout. What a ball from Mason Lord into Jasper, who should be on side and should score here. Sylvester Jasper, good stop cleared. Wow. Big chance. All finds Ramos. Almost amazing. Almost. He's looking for players to really step up at this game. And I think Lord's done that. Babich has been played through here. We've played some really nice football too. And this one's going to count for something. Babic has his first goal for the club. And the young Croatian is underway. 2-1 Newark. If we win this, of course, these boys get to play again. That's the, uh, the positive about this for them. If they can keep on winning, they stay playing football in this competition. Babi takes his chance. Chance maybe Southampton McTominay. It's going to find its way back to Patenga off Gale Alvarado. McTominay's in again and little square ball. What a save! I don't know whether Stephenson saved this or it's hit Doyle's foot, but this is phenomenal. I still can't tell from the angle which one of them has absolutely saved us with 30 seconds over the added time. It is now a corner and Southampton are going to throw everything at this. Diangli is going to come on. I'm pretty sure he scored against us last season. Oh, Garcia off, ball in towards the front post. Sylvester Jasper gets his head to it. Ref, can you please blow the whistle? Tomini, Alvarado, Armstrong lets it go through his legs, and that will do it. As in the first game of the season, we went behind, only to come back and get the victory. Today we do it in the cup, meaning these boys can move on to the next round in the Cowboy Club. I'll keep playing this side. If they could keep winning, that would be fantastic. But that is going to do it for today's episode, boys. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like. If you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you, legends, in the next one very soon.